It's the moment you've all been waiting for. Probably not you guys, but definitely me. Today, I'm gonna tidy up my sewing cupboard of doom. Ever since I tidied up my wardrobe, I've been thinking about tidying up my sewing cupboard, which is behind this door, and it's kind of scary. I'm gonna show you in a second, but I'm feeling very inspired lately to organize my stuff. Yeah, there's just a lot in there. Half of it is the water heater, so this side is actually, like, not too bad, but the other side is really scary. I'm terrified to actually open this because it's a mess and you're all gonna judge me a lot. Okay, let's tidy this shit up. So this is the situation we're starting with. Since we moved in in July last year, I've been accumulating more and more stuff and going for the tried and true shove and pray method. In this cupboard is a mix of sewing gear, architecture stuff, and other random stuff that needs a home. And of course, an organization video is not complete without some active wear. So ta-da, let's get cracking. Sewing machine. These need dry cleaning. A flute. Bag of doom. Overlocker. I'll save you from me commentating literally every single item I'm taking out, but you get the picture that there's a lot of stuff in here and it desperately needs organizing. This is the folder that I keep everything important to me in my life in. It's not very organized, but if you ever want to steal my identity, then that would be a good place to start. Probably the only reason I actually enjoy tidying anything up is mostly for the little hidden treasures that I find along the way, and this cupboard is absolutely no exception. Really nice gift. This is from the Gutenberg Press Museum. It's like printing ink. It's really nice, it's from my in-laws. I don't know when I'm gonna use it though. <laughs> this is a pattern I printed months ago for a jacket that I'm gonna make ASAP because I wanted to quilt a jacket and use. One moment please. this epic stash of felt that we have, which is this weird poo color. I'm gonna make a quilted jacket with this felt and fabric that I've had for months, because soon enough it'll be cooler here in Australia because it's the solstice today. So that means summer is officially over. Time for winter. Oops. Hey, that's where my Aki Marathon bag is. I've been looking for this tote bag. Here all along. As I've been editing this video, I realized that not long ago, this kind of organization task would have been completely overwhelming to me. I've always wanted to be a more organized person, but I could never really get anything to stick. But since I started taking medication for ADHD though, I've realized I've been able to harness my focus so much better. And I know that it doesn't work for everyone, but I just wanted to share my experience. This is what we have to work with here. That's the cupboard over there. So I've got on this side is kind of like sewing and sewing projects, including stuff I used to store stuff in, random bits of stuff, my patterns, a bag of doom. And then this pile here is stuff that I need to like fix. That's my like everyday box that I keep stuff in for when I'm doing projects. My sewing machine is in the middle of that and then my overlocker is under there. This pile here is fabric that either is in good condition or is like a whole piece. And then in the red tubs is like remnants from other projects plus stuff that I'm keeping for another project that I want to make which is a doona cover and pillowcases. But I haven't actually got around to it and I think the issue is that I don't actually get to see my fabric. So I'm going to reorganize all of my fabric. Then I have boxes of stuff empty boxes and things because I like to hoard those things. Toolbox, things that need to go in the jigsaw drawer and games drawer, which is in another part of the house. Some stuff that I need to take to the dry cleaner, cutting mats, and of course my pride and joy, my CDs. Okay, so now that everything is out of the cupboard, what I'm gonna do is sort out the things that aren't going back in there and I'm gonna find them new homes around the house. And then I'm gonna take out all my fabric 
and organize it into some things that I got from Ikea so that I can more easily see everything. And hopefully this setup is gonna be better. It, it, it can't be any worse than what that was, right? Okay, 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 okay. I'm just gonna show you the bits and pieces that I got from Ikea first. Uh, I bought two of these, which are cute. They're like white with pink inside. And I thought about what I wanted. I thought I wanted to put fabric in these, but what I think I'm gonna do actually is, these are gonna be my like, current project boxes so that I can just, if I need to stop doing something, I'll just shove everything in here and put it in a spot. And I realized that because I had some stuff I had some stuff that I'd cut out and I needed to put it somewhere. And then I realized that these tubs are basically the same size as a kind of conventional pattern. So that's really handy if I can just have the pattern sitting on the top and then everything else underneath. And that way I can be like, oh, I'll finish that. Thank you very much. The other thing I got are these soft sort of uh, case thingies, which I thought would be really good to store fabric in. They are the complement. I only got a couple and I can always go and get more, but I think that what these are gonna be really good for is I'm gonna organize all of my fabric. And if you watched my wardrobe organization video, you'll see that I love the Maria Kondo method of folding stuff and stacking things vertically so that you can easily see. So what I'm gonna do is get all of my fabric that's currently in like the red tubs and just shoved in bags. And I'm gonna put them into these things. The last thing that I got is this metal tray which will make more sense when I open it up but the shelves in that unit are really tall and what I found was that I could put something in the bottom but then there was just like space above it that I couldn't really use very well so I got one of these drawers to fix to the underside of one of the, the shelves in there so that then it's just a like better use of space basically and if I need another one I can always go and get one I'm just starting out with the bare minimum things that I think I need right now and then I can always go to Ikea later and get some more stuff. What I think I'm going to start off with is changing your angle once more. Oh fucking hell. <sighs> of course they start using power tools just as I'm ready to... Okay I'm gonna put this on a time lapse and you guys can just kind of watch me go and I'm going to narrate over the top because yeah there's not going to be any chance for me to talk with the noise that's about to happen outside with the gardeners and stuff. I decided just to start putting some things in that I knew didn't need any further organizing like these boxes and my sewing machines. Okay I made a start and I'm happy with where that's up to. Now it's time to organize all my fabric and put together some of these little boxes. So let's go over there. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize I wasn't recording. Whoa, I thought these were bigger. Oh, I think I bought the wrong ones. I thought I bought the ones that are more rectangular, not so square. This is definitely not enough to hold all of my fabric. <laughs> to organize my fabric, I'm taking it all out of the other tubs and bags and stuff that I have, and I'm folding it so that I can stack it vertically in these soft little trays that I got. And then with the other stuff that I'm probably not gonna be using too regularly, I'm actually just stacking it vertically in one of the red tubs and making sure that when I open the tub, I can see everything nice and neatly and clearly. And then finally, I'm organizing the things that I need for my duna cover or quilt cover and pillowcases project. And then finally, I'm going through my pile of projects. These are things that I either wanna take a pattern from, fix or alter or flip in some sort of way. All right, so some of that was not the best filming job, sorry about that. But what I have managed to do is get most of my fabrics in the open sort of tray soft tub thingies. And then with the rest of my stuff, I don't have quite enough storage stuff to get it all in neatly. Uh, but I'm just going to keep my like projects separate from my fabric that's like ready to go that doesn't that's not necessarily a remnant separate from my remnant fabrics and the things that I want to flip 
I need to get the rest of the stuff in the cupboard. The cupboard is already getting a little bit full. So I need to make my little box thingy that can hang from the shelf. The reason I went for this tray rather than the other ones they have at Ikea is because this one has an option for how you fix the front panel. You can either do it so that it's flat or on an angle. And since I'm usually an out of sight, out of mind person, I decided to go with the angled front so that I can easily see into the tray even when it's pushed in. Also, folding a piece of metal with your hands just makes you feel like a total boss. When it was time to attach it to the shelf, I used some tape to hold the frame in place because I couldn't take the shelf out since it's fixed into the joinery. And then I used the drill to make some pilot holes because screwing through laminate is pretty impossible. I love getting the drill out because it makes me so excited about bigger projects that I want to do in the future. And things were going really well until I dropped a screw, which I still have not found and it's already a few days later, so that's probably just lost into the ether. An offering to the DIY gods. Done. Yes, baby. That's so good. Oh my god. One thing I need to check though is does this fit under it? <gasps> yes. So I love this thing. This thing I got from my, my mother-in-law. It used to be hers. I love it, but the annoying thing is it's got, it's got this giant handle at the top that you can't fold down or move. So then whenever you have anything, you can't put anything on top of it. So now I can just slide it in there. And that's how it's gonna be. Yes, I'm so happy. I still have so much stuff to fit inside here though. Don't judge me because the way I'm putting everything in here still looks pretty disorganized, but it makes so much more sense to me. I do love a bit of Tetris and what you can't quite see in the shot is that I'm sorting and gathering all the mess that needs to go in the bin. I'm um, super happy with the sliding tray and I'll probably go get another one. Plus I think I need some more of the soft trays for fabric and maybe even a better way to store my patterns. The clincher though is that it's going to be hard initially for me to remember where everything lives. My brain functions on a level of organized chaos and if I move things around then I always struggle just for a little bit to find their new homes. It's probably why it looks messy still but I'm keeping things in roughly the same spots as they were initially, now with just added IKEA storage tubs. The last step of the project is to change the handles on the doors. I picked up these semicircle handles in the kids section which will help to update the vibe a little bit. The existing handles are probably the originals from the 90s which just look really dated but a pleasant surprise is that the fixing holes are exactly the same distance for what I need for the new ones. It was a total fluke and I just needed to make the holes slightly bigger on the outside for the little lug to get through.
And here's the updated situation. My machines are on the bottom along with my patterns, then my fabrics and current projects are on the next shelf up because that's where I look most often when I open up the cupboard. Above that is some less frequently used stuff like yarn, remnants and painting stuff. And then up top is my box of CDs and architecture modeling stuff, as well as bigger pieces of fabric that will be transformed later this year. So make sure you stick around to see those.